Nurse Mercy Mary, I have been hearing about ectopic pregnancy. A friend of mine said that she had her ectopic pregnancy and they had to remove her fallopian tube. Nurse Mercy Mary, could you please throw more light on what ectopic pregnancy is all about? Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy. What is ectopic pregnancy? What are the causes of ectopic pregnancy? What are the signs and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy? And also, what is the management of ectopic pregnancy? pregnancy if you are a nursing student you have to watch this video from beginning to the ending to get an insight of what ectopic pregnancy is all about and also if you are a woman if you are a man i believe this video is meant for everybody so you as an individual know the causes of ectopic pregnancy and stay away from it but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Miss Mary. This is Nurse Miss Mary saying thank you. Now, let's go. All right. Welcome back. Like Elia said, today we're going to be talking about ectopic pregnancy. We're going to be talking about what? Ectopic pregnancy. But before I go into ectopic pregnancy proper, I would like us to talk about the normal pregnancy. What happens in the normal pregnancy? After fertilization of an egg, the baby is being formed, is being formed, it's being developed in the uterus, in the womb. But in terms of an ectopic pregnancy, it is not so. In an ectopic pregnancy, the, um, the fertilized egg develop outside the womb. The fertilized egg develop outside the uterus, unlike the normal pregnancy that developed in the womb or in the uterus. So whenever you hear ectopic pregnancy, what should come to your mind is the development of that fertilized egg outside the womb or outside the uterus of a woman. So you will now ask, ah, if this egg did not develop in the womb or uterus, where will it now develop? So this fertilized egg can develop anywhere. It can develop in the abdomen. It can decide to develop in the, in the cervix. It develops anywhere outside the womb. But the one that is more common is the one that develops in the fallopian tube. You can see the picture of the fallopian tube. So when a fertilized egg develops in the fallopian tube, it is generally known as tubal pregnancy, tubal ectopic pregnancy, because the egg has been developed in where the fallopian tube. So, why won't this egg survive? Does ectopic pregnancy survive? Why won't it survive? The way the body system is being, is being designed, an ectopic egg is to, rem like, an, uh, sorry, the way the body system is being designed, an a, a fertilized egg is to develop in the uterus. So, everything has been structured that way. The support the egg need, the fertilized egg needs to develop, the strength the fertilized egg needs to develop, everything is in the uterus, in the womb. Those things are not in the fallopian tube. You get, the, those things that are in the womb, they are not in the fallopian tube to help that egg develop. So the egg is not going to develop, it's not going to last long, rather there's going to be complications. So ectopic pregnancy cannot survive. Just assume that tube, now instead of the womb, is developing in the tube. Definitely as it is expanding, as you can see, is expanding, is expanding, the fallopian tube keeps expanding. It will rupture it because that place is not designed for a fertilized egg to grow. So, an ectopic pregnancy cannot survive. That is one thing we should take note of. 
So ectopic pregnancy, remember, is a is a is a pregnancy where the fertilized egg develop outside the womb, and it is not it's like it's not fifty fifty. You can it is better to remove it because it can lead to complications. It can lead to death. The baby cannot even survive. So then that takes us to the signs and symptoms of ectopic pregnancy. The funny thing about ectopic pregnancy is that the signs and symptoms it portrays is that of a normal pregnancy at the very beginning. So if you are not careful, you feel it's normal pregnancy. You can do, you can miss your period. Yes, you miss your period. You do a pregnancy test. It will show two lines. You might be having tummy pain. You might be having vaginal bleed or brown watery discharge. Then also discomfort when pooing or peeing. When you want to pull, when you want to pee, you have discomfort. You can be having brown watery discharge. You can be having tummy pain. And you can also have missed period and two lines in pregnancy test. So if you look at the signs and symptoms, it is similar to the normal signs and symptoms of pregnancy. Most women, they don't know they have ectopic till when it becomes an emergency. You see these women, like in an emergency situation, especially when the fallopian tube is ruptured, like as a result of the baby expanding, the fallopian tube is ruptured. You see these women having severe pain, like severe, sharp, intense pain in your tummy. Like the pain is very, very severe. It's like, I don't know how to describe this pain, but the pain is sharp, it is intense. At this particular moment, you have to call 911. If it's 911, you have to call. Call the emergency team as soon as possible. Then you'll be feeling dizzy. For the, like In terms of signs and symptoms of the emergency signs of um, ectopic, there's this feeling of dizziness, like you're feeling sleepy. You know there's already bleeding because there's a rupture of the fallopian tube. It's an emergency. There's a rupture of the fallopian tube. There'll be bleeding. You'll feel, start feeling dizzy, looking very pale because bleeding is taking place, then you'll be feeling sick. You'll be feeling what? You'll be feeling sick. So these are the common signs of ectopic pregnancy and the emergency. What I advise people is that once you know you have history of ectopic pregnancy, the best thing, immediately you see two lines in a strip, contact your doctor. So they book for this uh, transvaginal scan, which is an early scan, Eight weeks, you can do this scan and know how you and know the welfare of your baby. So early scan is very, very important for those with history of ectopic pregnancy. Then that takes us to the causes of ectopic pregnancy. The first cause I have here is pelvic inflammatory disease. Pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. We might be wondering what causes PID. PID is usually caused by frequent or recurrent sexually transmitted disease. Frequent STD. You keep treating STD every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. So frequent STD can lead to what? Pelvic inflammatory disease that can lead to what? That can lead to ectopic pregnancy. So as a young lady that um that wants to really give birth that wants to give birth in the future it's better for you to avoid scenarios of STDs by using condom. We have both the male and the female condom. You always try as much as possible to have what protected sex. Then the other cause of a uh, um what they call it the ectopic pregnancy is Previous ectopic pregnancy. I said that earlier. If you have history of uh, ectopic pregnancy, you have to be very, very much conscious in case you have any pregnancy. You see the doctor and do a, an early pregnancy scan to know the welfare of your baby. So when one has a previous history of ectopic pregnancy, there's a possibility that he, she might have it again. Then the other one is previous surgery on the fallopian tube. If you have had a surgery on the fallopian tube, it can also um, be a, I say, a risk factor for you going down with what? Ectopic pregnancy. Then the other is fertilization treatments such as IVF and also medications to stimulate ovulation. 
You know, some people take medications to stimulate ovulation. So maybe more than one egg is being released. The egg did not get to, fertilization took place. It did not get to the womb. It stopped at the fallopian tube. So IVF, assist, IVF and also um, medications that stimulate ovulation can actually cause ectopic pregnancy. Smoking. For those that are smoking, as a lady, try as much as possible to stay away from smoking. There are a lot of um, uh, dangers, there are a lot of side effects of smoking as a lady to your health. Then the other is increasing age. As you get older, the chances of getting an ectopic pregnancy is also on a high side. Then the other is becoming pregnant while using intrauterine disease. Why using intrauterine device, not disease, sorry. So becoming pregnant while using IUD can predispose one to ectopic pregnancy, but it's very, very rare. It's not common, you get. It's very, very rare. So that is the cause of ectopic pregnancy. We've talked about the cause, we've talked about the types, and we've also defined what ectopic pregnancy is all about. Then the next question that should come to your mind is the treatment of ectopic pregnancy. In terms of treatment, at the very beginning, they might give you a medication to stop the growth of the baby. You get, they might give you a medication to stop the growth of the baby. Surgery will be done to remove it, that's or to arrange the fallopian tube, depending on the how complicated the issues are. It can be done to remove the fallopian tube or it can be done to remove the um, the fertilized egg that is growing in the fallopian tube without removing the fallopian tube itself. So these are um, these are the treatment causes and definition of ectopic pregnancy. Just know that ectopic pregnancy cannot survive because the baby is not growing where it will get the necessary nutrients, the necessary vitamins and the necessary support its needs so it cannot survive so there is no need to put hope oh i have ectopic pregnancy it might survive it cannot survive because the baby is not in the uterus it's not in the womb but if paraventure the baby gets to the womb definitely the baby will survive then um there's something i want to add sorry can a baby survive ectopic pregnancy no i've already explained that and in terms of the duration an ectopic pregnancy can stay between 6 and 16 weeks six and 16 weeks yes an ectopic pregnancy can stay for that um, duration before it's ruptured but sometimes it might rupture in the sixth week or before then so and also when i was checking the uk nhs website it says that um in the uk around one in every 90 pregnancy is ectopic this is around eleven thousand pregnancy in a year that was when I checked recently in the NHS website. I hope this video helped you understand what ectopic pregnancy is all about. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.